Welcome to Learnito, in History and Schools of Psychology. Today we are going to study the first school structuralism. Structuralism was founded by Wilhelm Wundt. He also established first experimental psychology lab to understand mental processes. Wundt never really used the term structuralism but, instead, his student Edward B. Titchener named it structuralism. He also mispresented the ideas of Wundt and often rejected it. Some important points are. Structuralism was focused on breaking down mental processes into the most basic components. Researchers tried to understand the basic elements of consciousness using a method known as introspection. So what is introspection? In easy words it is self-observation. Introspection is a way of looking inward and examining one's internal thoughts and feelings. As a research tool, however, the process was much more controlled and structured. Let's discuss strengths of structuralism. Structuralism is important because Wundt's work helped to establish psychology as a separate science and it was no more mixed with biology and philosophy. It also influenced the development of experimental psychology. Lastly structuralism did not go beyond Titchener's death. It's time for criticism. The use of introspection led to a lack of reliability in results. Some researchers said it was too concerned with internal behavior, which is not directly observable and cannot be accurately measured. Lastly, by today's scientific standards, the experimental methods used to study the structures of the mind were too subjective. Goodbye guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.